Hello and welcome to the Asian Game coming to you from Saitama Stadium. Not long after, Urawa completed an historic Champions League victory, their third in this tournament. Three times as much as they've won domestically in terms of league titles. I still can't get my head around that idea, but uh, they did it. Uh, of course, one one in the first leg, and it was one nil here in uh, the second leg. A 48th minute own goal. It was that kind of a match in in a way. Hilal, I think, had the better of the the chances. They certainly had the better of the possession, uh, and ultimately, it was yeah, an, an own goal that that helped push uh, Reds over the line. Michael Church, what did you uh, make of things? Uh, I thought it was kind of similar to the first game, to be honest. I thought Hilal were the, the better team for large parts of the game, dominated, didn't create maybe as many chances as they could and should have done with the amount of possession that they had, and Reds kind of sucker punched them. Defended reasonably well, reasonably well organised, disciplined, a uh, little bit sort of last ditch at the end, but uh, you know, did enough to win, maybe didn't show all of their qualities that we would have expected from them, but as uh, Massey Scorza was saying in the, the press conference afterwards, ultimately they went into this game looking to win. They didn't really care how they did it, and they well, worked. One of the things that maybe didn't come through on the TV broadcast, it was very, very windy, and yeah, the, it, so. it was kind of whipping through the stadium, a clear advantage mm -hmm. um, for the teams that are running um, mm -hmm. with the, the wind, uh, and, and it, made, it made things difficult, and it changes the way you play as well, because, sure. I mean, you, you have to be careful with crosses and I mean in a way if we look at the goal and where that came from Very much so. uh, I mean there was an element of the wind in that as well so mm. how much of a factor I mean did that play in things or, or I mean overall were, were Reds the better team taking away all these concessions should Hilal have maybe done more with mm. the possession that they had well, I think certainly the wind was a factor but it was blown in the same direction throughout the entire game and both teams played for 45 minutes with it either in their faces or behind them so they both had the same elements to deal with for the entire 90 minutes I think Hillel I think Hillel were just they were a little unlucky I think the player who was probably most unlucky was Andre Carrillo who, who, who conceded the own goal given that he was arguably their best player on the pitch he was uh, he was drafted in uh, in a bit of a, a reshuffle because of those three absentees that they had from the first leg I thought he played actually quite well throughout the game um, and uh, you know but Urawa as, as you said at the top of this they're, they're, they've won this competition more than they've won the J League they almost seem to be made for winning the AFC Champions League and they've proven it again tonight. I thought we were going to get um, harassed like we did in, in Qatar with the Saudi <laughs> fans for a minute, but um, I, think, I think we're safe. Um, so wh where, does this, where does this put the, the legacy of Reds now in terms of the all-time great club sides of, of Asia? I mean, you've covered this tournament right back yeah. when it was called something else. So um, <laughs> where, where, where does it put Reds in, in the pantheon of those great teams? Well, certainly in terms of of wins are the most successful Japanese club in this competition in, in, in the history of this and also the Asian Club Championship as, as, as it was, was previously known. Um, and look, I mean, only Al Hilal stand ahead of them in terms of overall wins with their four. But, you know, it's, I struggle to get past that, that, that aspect of the fact that they've only won their own domestic league once. And so to put them in the, the upper echelon of, of, of Asian clubs in terms of dominating your own league and then going on and dominating Asian football, if you look at the likes of that great Guangzhou Evergrande side 2013-2015, the very good Al Itihad side that was so dominant in this competition in the early 2000s, Al Hilal as they have been pretty much since sort of 2013-2014, um, I don't think they're quite at that level. Well, the lights are out. That's a sign for us to uh, move on as well. Michael, it's been Pull great catching up with you uh, in person. Yeah, hopefully we can do it again soon somewhere hopefully. around the world. Hopefully.